Islam is a religion of peace, then how come it was spread by the sword? The question posed was, if Islam is a religion of peace, how come it was spread by the sword? Islam comes from the root word Salam, which means peace. It also means submitting our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God. In short, Islam means peace acquired by submitting our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But as I mentioned earlier, that everyone in the world does not want peace to prevail in the world. There are certain anti-social elements for their own benefit, they don't want peace to prevail. The robbers, the criminals. If peace will prevail, they will go out of business. So for their own benefit, there are certain human beings who don't want peace to prevail. So for such types of people, force may have to be used. Therefore we have police, etc. So, Islam is for peace, but sometimes you may have to use force to put the anti-social elements in their place. And the best answer to this question, that Islam was spread by the sword, is given by D. Lacey O'Leary. He's a non-Muslim historian of great repute. In his book, Islam at the Crossroad, on page number 8, he says that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword over conquered races, is the most fantastic, absurd myth that historians have ever repeated. Delacy O'Leary, page number 8, book, Islam at the Crossroad. I'm asking a question, that we Muslims, we ruled Spain for about 800 years. Later on, the Crusaders came, and they wiped out the Muslims. There was not a Muslim who could openly give the Azan the call for prayers. We didn't use any force. You know, we Muslims, we ruled the Arab lands for about 1400 years. For a few years the Britishers came, for a few years the French came, but overall the Muslims were the lordship of the Arab land for 1400 years. Do you know today there are 14 million Arabs who are Coptic Christians? Coptic Christian means the Christians in generations. Since generations. If the Muslims wanted, they could have converted every non-Muslim at the point of the sword. We didn't do it. The 14 million Arabs or Coptic Christians are giving witness that Islam was inspired by the sword. You know India? India was ruled for hundreds of years by the Muslims. We didn't use the sword. We didn't use the sword. We Muslims, we ruled India for hundreds of years. If we wanted, we could have forced every non-Muslim to convert at the point of the sword. We didn't do it. The non-Muslims of India today, more than 80%, they are giving shahada, they are giving witness. You non-Muslims present here are giving witness that Islam was inspired by the sword. You are giving witness. We had the power. We didn't do it. Islam doesn't believe in that. Today the country which has the maximum number of Muslims is Indonesia. Which Muslim army went to Indonesia? Which Muslim army went to Malaysia, which has 55% population of Muslims? Which Muslim army went to the east coast of Africa? Which Muslim army? Which sword? Thomas Carlyle gives the reply. Thomas Carlyle, he writes in his book, Heroes and Hero Worship, that you have to get the sword. Little good will it do that he should spread with the sword. Every new opinion initially begins in the mind of one. One man in the whole world. One man against all the human beings. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. Which sword? Even if we had the sword, we can't use it. Even if we had the material sword, we can't use it. Quran says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 256, Like Rafid Deen, there is no compulsion in religion. Truth stands out clear from error. Anyone who grasps the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rejects the evil, he has held the most strong handhold that never breaks. Anyone who believes in Allah, Allah will take him from darkness to light. Anyone who believes in the evil, the Satan one, he will take him from lightness to dark. Which sword? Sword of the intellect. Quran says in Surah Nahal chapter 16 of 125, Invite all the way of the Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching and argue with them and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. There was an article that came in the Plain Truth magazine. It was a reproduction of the Reader Digest and Manager book, 1986. It gave the statistics of the increase of the world religion between 1934 to 1984. 
in the 50 years. Number one increase in major religion was Islam, 235 percent. 235 percent. I am asking you which war took place between 1934 and 1984 which converted millions of non-Muslims to Islam. Which war? Do you know today the fastest growing religion in America is Islam? Who is forcing the Americans to convert the point of the sword? The fastest growing religion in Europe is Islam. Who is forcing the point of the sword?